Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir. I am currently in the tub with Phantom Trigger. Now, Phantom Trigger is described as a neon slasher with RPG elements, and it was released on the 10th of August 2017. It's currently priced at £10.99, but there is a 20% discount, bringing it down to £8.79, and that runs until the 17th of August. Now, it's developed by a studio called Bread Team, and it's actually published by Tiny Build, who you may know from such titles as Speedrunners or Cluster Truck. Um, they got quite the catalogue in their publishing library. The main sort of um, comparison people have been drawing to Phantom Trigger is that of Hyperlight Drifter. Now, just how derivative it is of that game, I have no idea because Hyperlight Drifter is currently collecting pixelated dust in my Steam library. Um, I just haven't got the time to play it, although I do owe it to myself. So, I'm going in this with no sort of basis. Um, of Hyperlight Drifter, so we can just jump straight into Phantom Trigger, so there won't be any sort of Oh, this does the same thing as Hyperlight Drifter. Anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Are we washing up? Oh, we are washing up. Morning, honey. Oh, has this got controller compatibility, actually? I didn't check. Oh, it does, okay. What's for breakfast? Can you make the coffee? Can I make the coffee? Of course. And guess what I'm cooking without looking? <laughs> okay, French toast? No. Swedish pancakes? We had that last week. Whoa! You alright buddy? Um, I mean I'm no doctor, but I think he's just been hit by some sort of brain aneurysm. Come on, I don't always make international dishes. It's a classic American... Stan! 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 Sorry, <laughs> I got a bit randy there. Um, well that's a change in tone. Are we stuck inside Stan's head now? Perhaps this can't be in this can't be rea a reality, can it? I don't actually know too much about sort of the narrative of this game. I didn't want to spoil myself. Um, okay, well let's just go back on everything I said in the first couple of minutes or so. This reminds me of Hyperlight Drifter, <laughs> only from the screenshots I've seen of Hyperlight Drifter. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? I would say no, because ultimately this looks gorgeous. It really does. Can we attack? We can. And it's not like Hyperlight Drifter was the first beautiful pixel art game. Um, but let's carry on through and see what we have. Even the fire looks beautiful. Okay, who's this sucker? Welcome, outsider. Outsider? What do you mean? Or who are you? Um, let's get some answers on what do you mean. I'm Toad. I don't quite know what we expected there. I thought he's more like a, a lizard type thing. This is our camp. You're an outsider. Plenty of you come this way. Waltzing from the pier, high and mighty. You go out and never come back. Um, out? Out there. Through the portal. Why don't they come back? Or will they die, Stan? Well, I'm guessing this is Stan. Sporting a new haircut and some sort of scarf. They die. I don't have time for throwaway people. Go talk to the tree. It will decide what to do. If I had a penny for every time we were told to talk to the tree. Uh, can we break any of your barrels? We can't. Can we break you? We can't. Are you nesting an egg there, toad? Well, toads don't lay eggs, do they? So, wait, do they? Okay, let's stop talking before I sound really stupid. Right, so we go talk to this tree sack. Or do we have a little look around? Ah, is that a merchant? I'm assuming this is a sort of hub area. Um, I don't think this is like a rogue, a rogue light or anything like that. I'm almost sure it isn't, but perhaps more levels unlocked from here. Who knows? We can. Oh, that's handy. Right, so we have some sort. Of... Oh, that must be the tree we talked to. Are you a slivering beast? A mighty griffin, perhaps? Dude, are you blind? It's a bloody tree. Maybe a cunning raven. Stand, are you high? No. You're only hot air. Still. Oh, this is her talking. <laughs> I do apologise. We'll get out of here, tree. Still, enthusiasm is in demand. The rest will come. I grant thee the sword. Well, we managed to charm our way with the tree. Obtained cube of ice. Um, I'm pretty sure she said it'd be a sword. Okay, tree, you got anything else? That'd be all. Enjoy your sword. You mean our cube of ice? I wonder if we have to melt it in any way. Okay, let's go talk. That, that's a rabbit or a hare. Um, 
let's go talk to this thing. Do you like adventurers? I like adventurers. My name is Ant. I'm a brave fighter and explorer. If you're also brave, your adventure waits beyond this portal. I'll do recon. You can never be prepared enough. I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, cheers, Ant. You actually seem fairly nice. Not like that toad in tree. Um, a weapons camp, perhaps? I mean, this is this is cool. It is very good looking. Stylish, presentation is great. I mean, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what the um, significance of that opening scene was. I mean, you could have just as easily started the game as just coming down on the river. But obviously, we're going to come back to the stand, drop in, in the kitchen. Outsider or not, everyone needs to eat. Oh, a feeder. I like a feeder. Are you going to the other side? I guess. Bring me spices. I'll feed you well. Okay, Mr. Rabbit Hair, sir. We can do that. And our last... Ah, oh, there's a blacksmith. What a brute. Not sharp enough. Do you need another sword? I need more flint. Alright, we'll get you flint. What can you do with a block of ice? Right, well, come on in and let's go through this, uh, this portal. And would this be our first level? I suppose so. Right, controls. Okay, now we have the sword we can use X to attack. Y does whatever that is. We break through the ice. So it seems it's not just a block of ice we're given. There is a sword in there somewhere. Alright, we can't break open the environment. See if we come across any crates. Um, I think I have to, like, blip through that. Yeah, we do. I, I understand game mechanics. Go! See, that's my intuition coming into play. You play enough games, you know you have to dodge through the fire. Right, I, I'm going to guess that you're not friendly. I mean, because you're bulbous and um, you look like you've got lava inside you! <laughs> oh, cool. We have, like, damage indicators as well. I'd like to see how much damage we do. Did Y even do anything? Oh, Y pulls it towards us. Interesting. So we should be dodging around because there's little to no cooldown on that. You pull them in and then you slash them. I like it. There is method to that combat that um, just is just inviting to be mastered. Right, I guess we have to move this cube onto that. Uh, ooh. Okay, so sort of like Breath of the Wild. We freeze it and then we knock it over. I like this game. It just You, you can just tell in seconds if it's going to be good or not and it seems to be Pretty freaky. The screen tear. What's going on here? What if there's anything to do with Stan? Maybe coming back to consciousness? Oh, we can't break these. Oh, we can. We have to use our wire to do the greens in. And it's filling up that green bar. What have I done? Okay, let's try that again. Oh, God. <laughs> so there's a lot of environmental things you can use to damage these guys. He's got a TV on his head. Crap, my first bit of damage. It looks like we used that too quick. And we totally missed that. Nice dodge, Stan. I've got to assume you're Stan. That's what you're going to be called. Oh, the dodging is really fun to do. Come on, get in close, you sack. Not that close. Right, we don't know what them pink squares are, because there's no sort of bar for them. I can't see any currency counter. We can extinguish candles. Can we go down? Nope. Now, oh, leveled up. Brilliant. Oh, so breaking this blue... The, oh, okay, how did I not realise? The blue ones fill up the blue bar, the green ones fill up the green bar. And it seems once you fill up the blue, you level up. God, I can see myself playing all the way through this. Um, now, is that hidden? No. Nope. Blocks by a blossom tree. Now, what can we do with you? Oh, I would like to hit one of them guys with the environment soon. So our damage indicator hasn't changed by levelling up. Um, I think we're back to full health because of it. What is that? Um, yeah, so I think we got raised back to full health. I don't know if our health extended. Oh, that's, that's a horrible thing. That gave us quite a beating. Ah, and it looks like you have two separate level ups. 
Oh, we have to be careful here. Taking a bit too much damage for my liking. Yeah, and you explode. All right. So then popping pink balls, you can only attack after they've landed. We took a fair bit of damage there. Not good at all. So we need to find a decisive way to heal ourselves. There's Ant. Oh, we healed ourselves. How you doing, Ant? You look familiar. Yeah, of course we look familiar. We just spoke to you. Um, why can't I get past this text? It's probably nothing. Um, okay, for some reason I'll just explain what's happening here. As you can clearly see, it's asking me to press A on the controller to, to skip. But that's not working. For some reason it's left trigger. Um, it's a lonely life here. I keep seeing things and hearing voices. Mostly my own. You know, you're crazy. We don't get any other option to that? Okay. It's not so bad when the company is good. Thank you. Now, I'm pretty sure we could have gone up here. Whoa, what are these little shits? Whip them. Oh my god. An altar, shall we pray? And oh, we've got a hold A for this. Nice, we've got tons of XP, I guess, there. Okay, it's very weird. Left trigger seems to be enter in a lot of occasions. And I have no idea why. It's a small bugbear. Right, are they bad? Okay, that one. Right, uh, so what's blue? Blue. And then we have to green this one. Blue. Green. Green. Okay, green. Nice. Ah! Get it! Cool, so our attacks are also colour coded. Blue for slashing our sword and green for the whip. Nice, a nice cool puzzle to get involved in. Oh, I hate them ones. We just had a 40 damage attack there. I wonder why. We got stuck between the pots. So now we know how this thing works, we can dodge it pretty easily. Nice. What is that? What's, what went on there? The blue circle. But as you can see, the combat has some style to it, and it's satisfying to do. Um, I hope there's sort of more elements at play as the game goes on, but I'm sure there will be. Black pepper, the one you actually need. Is that for the rabbit and needed some spices? Or the hair? And how the hell did we access this menu? So we have an inventory. Um, level 1, 2... Right, so it seems for that bottom left one, we need our blue to be level 3 and our green to be level 2. So that's something we could work towards. Now how do I access that menu? Yeah, it is just select. Oh, you hit me, you TV sack. Give me the pink thing. Is this a new enemy type? It's leaving a horrible, horrible uh, pink gas behind. And it self-destructs. So steer clear of them. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies. Suppose you've got to be leveling up fairly quickly. I think that's a critical hit we got there. Ah, we must smash this. So we need to raise our green. Come here, pink ball. Nice. And that filled our health up, so we need to go that way. But this, this is cool. It feels polished. Um, I mean, there is the weird thing of the button mapping for menus, but it's not enough to make me sort of think any less of the game. Um, I'd be intrigued to play Hyperlight Drifter after this and see what is actually going on. Now, it almost looks like I'm freezing them, guys. Maybe there's uh, comp attack combos and I'm just lucking out doing it. Yeah. I mean, if you're not careful, I think you could die fairly quickly in this. Thankfully, um, dodging is, is pretty straightforward, and there seems to be plentiful points on the ground we can heal up. So I'm grateful for that. I would want to know what the actual aim is, yeah. I wouldn't want some more story context, because it's an interesting environment they've crafted here. Interesting characters. Whoa! Oh, look at that, though. We're hitting them two at a time. What is going on? Oh, <laughs> we're back. Um, in reality, I guess. The best option I see is surgery. Oh no, is it some sort of brain tumor, do you think? Oh, but again, I can't use A to skip the dialogue. Okay, fine. These surgeries have a high rate of success. And that's the best choice, Doctor? What's the catch? Stan. You'll need an exceptional surgeon and cutting edge equipment. So it costs a lot. Yes. It doesn't matter. 
It does. Would you like to hear the other options? Please. There's an experimental treatment. What are the odds that'll even work? So far the tests show promise. Let him finish, Pam. Oh, I would say the writing seems a bit... lacklustre. <laughs> a bit stiff. It's not flowing too well. It's more affordable and doesn't require a surgery. I can send you some brochures and test data. This is ridiculous. It's an option. We can handle surgery, Stan. I can't handle surgery. Maybe you need some time to talk it over. I'll send you everything on both the surgery and the treatment. Are there any other options? The only other real option is no treatment. Just having us try and make you as comfortable as possible until... How on earth is that an option? Right, so we don't quite know what it is. But we know it's bad. And I'm guessing the experimental treatment is what's made us end up here. Is it almost like some sort of total recall thing? Are we strapped in a chair right now? My imagination is running wild. Stan isn't particularly interesting, is he? Oh! Obviously he was incredibly deadpan in that conversation. Uh, understandable, it's a lot to process. He's um, effectively dying. But um, yeah, the bit where the doctor spoke and then he was, and then, no, Pam spoke, and then the doctor spoke. He was just like, don't interrupt Pam. She wasn't, Stan. Give her a break. Whoa, see that arm coming up? Are you, are you bad? No, you're not. Oh, wow, that is, that is some cool design there. A, like a, a tentacled skull reaching out. All swords in its arms. Hey, you. Me? Yes, you. Want fancy knuckles? Fresh tested. Uh, <laughs> why don't you take the knuckles? Or who are you? A little ball. I need more than that. I'm the servant of id. Just take him. Don't worry. This guy doesn't need him anymore. Right, just get a sweet pair of knuckle dusters from um, Little Ball. Obtains Cube of Flame. Right, now, is it? Oh, it is a whole new but So I thought maybe we have to, might have to equip it over the, the Cube of Ice, but no. We now have attacks mapped to X, Y, and B on the Xbox One controller. So nice, we can really pull up some chains now. Can we talk to Little Ball some more? It's father. It's mother. Thank you for that. Oh, nice. Oh, no, yeah. Ah, oh, there's a new experience bar to fill up as well. Nice stuff. Full health. Alright, bring it on, you sacks. Okay, be careful there. It does 30 damage as well. Now I'm interested. Gotta be careful, though, because it's a slow attack, as you may have guessed. Do the fists play smoke on the water when you spam it? Almost. <laughs> what we can sort of gather from this is that the more we use the weapon, the more XP you get for that appropriate bar. And so the weapons want to level up more, you use them more. That is not anything new. But it's satisfying and cool. As odds are, you're always close to leveling up something. There we go. There's our fists. Alright, that's that sack done. Are we regaining health through killing enemies? I think we may be. Yes, we just leveled up our blue. So let's try our fists on this guy. Right, now let's take out that one-eyed bat and see what we can do now. Ah, so that... Oh, I see. So on the right-hand side, you notice how there's a, a combo there? We've had that for a while. I think that's how we're freezing the ground. Um, so the new one we just unlocked would be XXY. Let's try that. Nice. Oh, brilliant. I like the look of that. Oh, everything's dead. Oh, we're back into reality. Oh my god, the stand's not looking good. Wow, what sort of drip is that? Looks like they're putting nitro into his bloodstream. Um, sorry, Greg. I won't be able to participate. My husband is in a hospital. In a hospital? Don't you mean like the hospital? No one says a. We say, oh, he's in the hospital. Well, he is my husband. So what? He's my husband. Those ants will have to study themselves. Weird. See, so yeah, I would say the writing is a little off, but on the whole, it's all right. Do I really care about Stan's present situation? Not particularly. Oh, brilliant. That'll ruin your day, won't it? Oh! 
kind of uh, hoping there's loot and stuff we can equip. Armor components. Or at least just chests we can open to find it. It would make sense that there would be. I want to know where we're heading. Because Ant has been completely useless. She said, oh, I'm going to go scout ahead, do some recon. Uh, recon for what? What are we looking for? There's no map. We've got to hope that just fighting our way through here doesn't get boring if we don't know what we're trying to fight towards. I would assume there's a boss or something soon. Now, what is this? Black pepper, the one you actually need. Uh, garam masala, the hipster curry, or original curry. Lines are blurred. Is this all for the hair? See, I wouldn't mind finding a portal soon that takes us back to that hub area, because I'm intrigued to see what has transpired while we've been away. So I think there's an opposite to the other attack. So you have that, and now you also have this flaming circle. Oh, it is. It is on our on this menu screen here. Cool. It seems like there's only another, what, one, two, three, four, five attacks left to discover, though. Doesn't seem like a whole bunch. I feel like we're doing very well. I mean, we do have this on normal difficulty, and it's actually worth noting the game defaulted to hard difficulty, but I thought for the purpose of this video, um, I don't want to stress myself out, and I, I played it on normal. You can call it a cop-out if you wish, but it doesn't matter. We're still kicking ass. Oh, ice blocking them and then fisting them. That works pretty well. Oh, crap. You got me. So let's try that again. There we go. Look, and just give him a rapid fist. Ice to meet you. Oh dear, I was not expecting to do uh, Schwarzenegger Batman quotes in this video. But, I mean, these things just happen. I like the enemy types as well. It's been quite varied. And when they're all mixed together, they, they gel with each other quite well. Like, for our downfall. It's quite a nice synergy going on with these guys. Um... What the hell's going on here? You'll be okay. He doesn't look okay. I mean, Pam, I don't mean to be rude, but he looks terrible. You'll see. I'll be here. I think you may be doing more bad than good, Pam, I'll be honest. We can't just want some alone time. From what I know of Hyperlight Drifter, it has some more sort of like contextualization in the way of. Um, things you can pick up and read, I think. I'm not 100% on that. Or maybe it has hidden chests or something like, or something to that effect. And I feel that Phantom Trigger could benefit from stuff like that. We are finding the the uh, spices and the flint. But I would like, wouldn't mind reading some, I don't know, notes of a traveller who came through here just to get some context of what this place even is. Or maybe even bumping into Ant a bit more often. <laughs> God damn it, game. I don't know the guy up ahead. He's never been here before. But neither of you. Is this boss time? Boss time could be exactly what we need. Just to like ward off any staleness I may be feeling. I think it may be boss time. We've been healed. So let's see what this entails. Yeah, we got a boss. Brilliant. Ah, but it has the same sort of horrible area of effect like the balls. Oh, well, that's bad. We need to work out what is going on here. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't think we can hurt it. I wonder if we have to pull it off. Can you help us? Ah, what is this? We whip it and we fire it at the sack. Right, so it's just a case of dodging for long enough. It's a shame it took almost three quarters of our health to figure that out. At least now we do. You want to kind of freeze that thing. Oh, we could have whipped that one, I think. I don't want to get caught in his blast either, because it would also take damage. Right, this could be bad. At least we hit it. Now, maybe we can get some health back with this. Okay, it's only halfway, unfortunately. Oh, we're dead. That sucked. Oh, right, okay. Question here. Where do we restart from? Ah, right here. Alright, we can take this guy out this time. No problem. Oh, I think we want to get him. Ah, oh, you can't win this time. There you go. You sack. You're dead. We'll take out your little lackeys. Right, we can go through. 
That wasn't so bad, it was a good boss. It was a good intuitive boss, I enjoyed that. Now, do we return back to camp? Because that's quite where I'd like to go. Oh, Stan. Honey, thank God. Oh, no, we can't skip this dialogue. Why? <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what I pressed there to make it move along. Um, what's this green ooze? I was wondering that. It's the medicine. How are you feeling? Like a sack of hay with potatoes for legs? <laughs> Weak, dizzy, obviously won't go for that one. What a, what a brilliant metaphor, or a simile. The doctors say that's normal. Doctors? Yes, remember Dr. Malarkey? Hmm, what a strange name, I don't entirely trust it. What's Malarkey? Stan, you're scaring me. <laughs> Who's Stan? Oh man, Stan's lost it. Stan's lost his goddamn mind. And this looks like a way back. Little ball, how you doing, buddy? I didn't know you're famous. What do you mean? You're the chosen one. Golden light to save all. Everybody says that. They say you're here to kill the evil. Ironic, isn't it? Um, you sure you're using that word right, or what and how? Yeah, let's not sort of correct his grammar. Oh, you'll see. Now, I need you to do something for Id. What's Id? It's father. It's mother. What do you want me to do? <gasps> Poison the rabbit. Bring him a spice called uh, ricin. Wasn't that used in Breaking Bad? <laughs> that silly little kid got poisoned. Whoa, why am I laughing at that? Anyway, it grows where you shall go next. Come back when the deed is done. Um, I don't want to poison the rabbit. Why on earth would I do that? The rabbit's awesome. We're going to give him some food soon. Whoa. Hello, buddy. Now, here's a guy we can get to know. I like this dude. Talk about cool. I was an outsider once, too. I still am. Count loves the rabbit. Spicy cooks food. What a waste. Try my meat. Dude, we don't even know your name. Fresh from the bone. Sure, cut me one. We'll get along. Rabbit loves these spices. Bring them to me so I can burn them. I'll make it worth your while. So we can give our spices to Crocodile Dundee, or we can give them to Rabbit. We've got to give them to Wabbit. He asked first. I knew you were the chosen already. Ain't no toad gonna open my eyes to this. Right, how do we give you spice? Can't make, can't make text mechs without spices. And mechs. Have the black pepper. You can do anything without pepper. Thanks, Chosen. Cool, so I wonder what on earth could change here if you decide to give different items to different characters, you know? It looks like we can choose either side with the crocodile or the rabbit here. Well, I think, after all that, it could be a good time to leave it there for Phantom Trigger. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it is a decent little game and definitely worth your time. And if you catch it before the 17th of August, definitely worth your £8.79. So, if you enjoyed this episode of In The Tub With, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we have In The Tub Withs every Monday, as well as daily Let's Plays, and we live stream twice a week, so there's plenty for you. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll bring that to you. If you've got any comments you want to raise, have you played Phantom Trigger? Or more interestingly, have you played Hyperlight Drifter? Are there striking uh, similarities that I may not have picked up on? Um, anything at all, leave a comment below, and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Alright, see you!